Let's talk about thatch in the lawn. Is it good or is it bad for the lawn? Most lawn professionals, myself included, would tell you and their neighbor and anyone else who poses the question, yeah, thatch is actually pretty good, but only if you have a thin layer. Thin layers of thatch help insulate the soil from the beating down of the hot sun. You don't want the sun baking your soil because then your temperature is fluctuating quite a bit and you end up getting excessive evaporation after you irrigate or experience rain. However, as thatch layers get thicker, which is quite common in rhizomatic and stoloniferous grass types, which are super common down south and found in northern lawns as well, when that layer gets thick, let's say a half inch or three quarters of an inch, then it starts being a hindrance to the lawn's performance throughout the spring, summer, and fall. As the layer gets thick, it starts trapping too much moisture, allowing fungal threats to invade a lawn space. And a thick layer will stop water, whether it be from irrigation or rain, from getting down into the soil itself. It gets stuck in the thatch layer. So the root systems of the grass in this situation start getting shallower and shallower and they start building in the thatch layer, making the problem worse and worse and worse over time. Not only that, but when your thatch layer gets thick, then you're also going to have problems getting a uh, product down onto the lawn, whether it be a weed preventative, whether it be a fertilizer or a grub control killer or whatever it is that you're spreading onto the lawn, it's harder for that product to get to the soil itself because it's got to work its way through this thick spongy layer of thatch. Now in the lawn care game, it's worth managing your layer of thatch. You don't necessarily have to remove the whole thing, but you have to manage it. And in some cases, you do need to do some extreme stuff to remove the bulk of it, if not everything. I have an entire video right up here, all about the different ways that we can remove or manage thatch in the lawn. I suggest you give it a look. Take a look in the description below for some relevant links and some information about me and my credentials.